We're gonna be talking about the time that Gabrielle actually ran away from home. I'm pretty sure I was on my period. Oh. I was just so mad. I literally threw all of my clothes that I had in my closet and in all my drawers into the back of my car. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a perfect example of what happened. Oh, 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 oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, I did not know this was going to hurt so bad. Rubber ducky, rubber ducky, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, like a I'm so. Listen, I know, guys. This is all that anyone ever wants to see. Gabrielle and her sister. And my sister. little sister, Cassandra. I, I, even I, though she's bigger. I, than I me. honestly, we could film this video with me like this the whole time, and I don't think anyone's gonna complain. <laughs> we got Starbucks, by the way. So, yeah, or, they did. Drinks. I didn't. You know. Yeah, Jack doesn't drink sugary things. So. You know, I'm trying to be a better person here in 2020. This is really sweet. Isn't it so good, though? You don't it's like, like it. Be careful. On the line you Olympic of... athlete. You never know. You might yeah. be sponsored by them one day. <laughs> <laughs> Cassie is an Olympic. No, I'm not, not airsoft I'm not. player. Airsoft. No? Yes. Yes. An, an Olympic yes. airsoft. Shooter. She swims yes. with a lot of the Olympians. She like yes. competes against them. Mm -hmm. And you better believe it. She's gonna act like she doesn't want us to bring it up, but you better believe. But she, she's a pretty big deal. She want, she's. Hey, I'm she, not a big deal. I'm really not. She's famous in the realm I'm not. of I'm not. swimming. I'm yes. Not. Cassie, as soon as you get a K by your follower count, trust me, it's okay to have a big head. Yeah, she That's what I'm saying. Like you already have a K. Go follow her on Instagram. Guys, this is the clout mobile. Okay. Also, never let me say that again, guys. Yeah. Never let me say that again. But today. We're gonna be talking about the time that Gabrielle actually ran away from home. Oh, this happened two years ago when I was a senior in high school. So was she. Cassie was a. I was. She was in eighth, 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 eighth grade. Eighth grade. Yeah, I was in eighth grade. She was a middle schooler, guys. That's how you know this was a fat, stinky minute ago. Yes. Okay. Cassie was a middle schooler having to deal with this on yes. the regular. Gets to deal with this. No. 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 Not yes. by a long shot, Gabrielle. There is no getting. It's. There's four. Lots of getting. It's by default. She feels obligated to live in the same house with you because you, I don't get a choice. Really have a choice yeah. to live with me. Yeah, yeah exactly. So now she wishes that I. We should honestly her. be showing some <laughs> respect. Mom and Dad give you way too much attention now. So much. Oh my gosh. Because she's the only child alone. at home. My parents just don't talk to me. Never did. When if I, was... I fell off a bridge, it would take my parents multiple days to realize I was gone. Yeah, it'd probably take our parents like thirty minutes. Not, <laughs> Not even. even. <laughs> You're have life three sixty still. Squirt leaves guys if this video can get 20,000 likes we'll oh do a video God. of the time that squirt ran away No, that was terrible. That was, that was terrible. so bad. I their was out of town where I'm not even gonna their talk parents about it. lost their brains 20,000 yeah. likes and we'll do that story time But guys, we're here to talk about the time that Gabrielle ran away, babe. Come on. Do you want to start it or can I start you it? Can start I'll lay it. down the groundwork because they're gonna be doing a lot of talking this video. Yeah. So Basically guys, I'm a senior in high school. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before this gets started. I'm dramatic Everyone's dramatic at some point. Don't hate me for you know it. It's gonna be good when you have to give a disclaimer. <laughs> so, Anyways. guys, basically what happened was Gabrielle's wonderful parents, loving, compassionate parents, always looking out for the best for Gabrielle. Unfortunately, they made the decision to give Gabrielle's clothing away to a cousin of hers. Her parents basically took her clothes without asking, without asking her and just donated them because Gabrielle never wore them. But here's the thing. I had them all listed like on my Poshmark and I was like looking for the dress that I had already sold and like a few other things and my mom was like oh yeah I gave those to your cousin Oh, that's, and that's why, why it was, it was such, a, such big a big deal because they were literally sold already. Yeah, so, and I was waiting to ship them off. So basically, Gabrielle was selling these items online. Someone had bought them, and then yes. Gabrielle didn't have anything to ship because her parents had just given them given away, them away without, without saying. Me. So that okay, fair. You can be upset. I don't yes. know if running away from home <laughs> is the appropriate response to but something. But they like were that. dramatic about it, and so you I had were to be dramatic. She goes screaming. upstairs and she's like, "Mom, where are my clothes?" Oh my god, okay, I can totally see this. Sometimes I get really 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 stressed like other things are going on i'm pretty sure i was on my period oh during all you must have been and i get kind of psycho when that time no. of the month occurs gabrielle don't say that Slight, slightly dramatic babe too. despite that being entirely true don't say that come on you know better come on shut you're up you're great i wasn't person. that bad you, you know ran it's away that. it's like gabrielle. i wasn't that bad say it. Say it. gabrielle was definitely okay. on a period and also gabrielle facetimes me this is this is when i knew it was bad when gabrielle facetimes me 
midday, I know something's wrong. Because we FaceTime every night. But if she calls me before 7.30, I know something's horribly wrong. I answer the phone. Oh my god, I hate my family. You're not going to believe what they did. They stole my clothing and then gave them away. And I don't even like that cousin. No, I'm kidding. No, I didn't say that. No, she didn't actually say that. So if, you're, if the cousin's watching, she didn't actually say that. But for the sake of the video, <laughs> she said that. I was just in my room. And I was just like on my Chromebook, just like watching a movie or something. You came home or something from wherever. And you're going up the stairs and it's all quiet. It's nice for a little while. And then you open your door and just all of a sudden you share, Mom, where are my clothes? Okay, in my defense though, I was on my period. Okay, well. <laughs> And I don't this makes me I... sound a lot more psycho than I was, but sometimes I get like so anxious and stressed out that I, I let it all build up And this is one of those circumstances when Gabrielle gets anxious and doesn't know what to do I doesn't cry. have the answer she starts crying and like aggressively walking up and down stairs <laughs> like, When we were on FaceTime, I'm just hearing steps Yeah, and then you came in my room and you're like, did you take my clothes? I'm like, no, I didn't take your clothes and she goes well, then who did? You took them, didn't you? You took my clothes. And before she talked to my mom, I'm like, no. no then I talked that to is so it. funny about no, Gabrielle. My... Before considering all possibilities, she immediately assumed because the worst. Because it's always the sisters that takes the No, clothes. it's not. Okay, Actually, over yeah, Christmas true. break that I was home for like the month that I was there, the amount of times she <laughs> stole my clothes without I give them asking. back, though. I also give them back. I borrowed one shirt of hers, so it's okay. Anyways, back to the story, did. back to the story. So then I literally ran into my mom's room, where, where are my clothes? And she's like calmly saying, oh, I gave them to your cousin. And she said it so calm, it just made me even more mad. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, you know I needed those. And she was just so calm and I was just silly yelling at her. That's, you know, when someone has she done me knew. wrong, but they're not sympathetic, like, yeah. they like, let's say someone runs over my dog and they're like, hey, I, ran over your dog. That sucks, you know? Yeah, I can and it see makes that. you even more mad when the person's calm. And my mom was just so calm, she knew what she had done. Did I'm, she know that you had sold them? I can't remember. I don't think she knew that. Well, that's probably why yeah. she took them. But I knew that I had sold them, so that means everyone should know that they were yeah, mine and yeah. that what I was doing. I mean, obviously. Read my brain. I mean, I'm doing the math back here, guys. I mean, it's all, it's, I'm putting it, it together. Sense. It's all making sense. <laughs> I feel so bad. Like, looking back on this, I really overreacted. But then after I talked to my mom, I was just so mad. I literally threw all of my clothes that I had in my closet and in all my drawers into the back of my car. When I say all of my clothes in garbage bags in the back of my car, I mean I had 13 garbage bags of clothes. Clothes. You could not see out the From, back. Yeah. You could not see out the back. And I don't know like what my mom was saying while I was doing this. Like she definitely knew what I was doing. Like I was packing up all my clothes. I think she just thought I was mad. You were watching too. It's pretty much like a movie. I was just like <laughs> chilling in the living room, just letting it happen. I'm like, well, I, she'll come back. Yeah, I mean, well, I would, I would assume that no one took her seriously <laughs> anyway. No one did. Literally, no. Every, everyone's just making dinner, they watching. They let me pack all my clothes up in the back of my car. They're like, okay, sure you're gonna do this. <laughs> Can you imagine their dad? He's just out here eating steak, watching Fox News. Meanwhile, his daughter is running away, packing her bag and he is not phased. He did not oh care. He was not bothered, not worried, no nothing. No one stopped me. Like, I should be offended <laughs> that my parents didn't care enough to be like, honey, calm down. Babe, I've <laughs> it's like the boy who cried wolf. You can't react like that to every single thing. But I don't usually react. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't usually pack it all up, yeah. actually. You just threaten running away. Yeah. You don't actually do it. Okay, but I did actually. So, she packs all of her bags. The car is full. God knows how long it took her to do this. Oh, it took me like an hour and a half, two hours to do this. It's, how do you stay mad that long, guys? <laughs> Let's talk about that for half I a second. I have a talent for like holding grudges and like continuing she, to be mad. <laughs> yeah, well that's exactly what she did. Like my mom would be like, Gabrielle, like I'm I'm sorry, like I didn't know. And, and she'd be like, like no, no, leave me no. alone. You're not allowed to be sympathetic. You're evil. Hey, I've grown out of that phase, guys, okay? <laughs> hey, I'm a lot better now. I don't Shut know. Up. Slightly. The pills really help. Gab no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Gabrielle's like, you know, it's weird. Now that I don't live with my parents, I seem to argue with I them less. I never get mad at them. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But yeah. Now it's my turn to tell the story. So now this is the part where Gabrielle decides, okay, I realize after packing my car and driving off all dramatic, I have nowhere to go. <laughs> Shut um, up. That's like, like the, the, I hate the, there this was. Part of the story. She, she, this was one of those situations where you're like, I didn't expect to get this far. I thought someone would try to stop me <laughs> in the two hours it took me to, you know, put all of my bedroom in the car. 
So literally all anyway, of my she comes to my house and I'm like, I'm hesitant to let her in because I know that she's running away and I don't want their parents to be mad at me like I'm involved or something. They're like, I'm telling Gabrielle to run away. So I'm like, Gabrielle, you can't come in my house. I don't want to be in the doghouse with your family for years, okay? I have to get your dad's blessing. Anyways, we're arguing in my driveway. Imagine how awkward this is. Okay? Both of my neighbors are mowing their grass and Gabrielle and I are just like, fighting in our driveway. I wonder what they thought we were doing. Probably playing charades or something. But I'm literally like, Gabrielle, no, you can't come in. And Gabrielle's like, let me in. And normally a guy when he's dating a girl doesn't not let their girlfriend in the house. So yeah. they probably thought that you were my sister and I was just like, arguing arguing with her though in, in the entire time. But I eventually let her in because I was embarrassed because both of my neighbors were basically I watching an episode of the Kardashians. There. <laughs> literally keeping up with the Moseses out here that seriously should in be my a driveway. Should be. Our life is a mess. So I let Gabrielle inside and she's giving me the rundown on how her whole car is full. I'm like, Gabrielle, I noticed that in the 30 minutes we were fighting out in my driveway. Anyways, the whole time this is going on, I'm sure that Mr. and Mrs. Moses and Cassie at home were not too phased. Were you guys? Yeah, what the heck was happening when I was gone? I can't really remember. I feel like none of us really cared that much because we knew you would come back. I mean, like, I how long was she, how long were you gone? It was it was like four hours. Yeah, I was gonna say it wasn't that long. So I mean, we were right. <laughs> We knew you would come back. I remember mom was like a little worried. She was like, well, I hope she's okay. But then later she was like, well, I mean, she'll come back. So yeah, I was gonna say that, that, that almost just feels like <laughs> no, she felt obligated to say that. Yeah. They also <laughs> had my, um, they tracked my phone. So then I like eventually shut it off. So like they knew I was mad. Like I wasn't answering their texts or their calls. But then at one point I turned it back on just because I was wondering if they actually missed no, me. No, <laughs> because you shut your, you shut your location off mm -hmm. after you left my house. Mm -hmm. So I think I, just I think around. that caused her parents to assume that she, you were with me still mm -hmm. because you left and went to a library parking lot. She goes to a library, then comes to my house, and then decides <laughs> to, to go life. back to the library <laughs> and shut her location off. Or did you just put, because it was a no, safe no, spot? No, no, the library is safe. No, you just put it on airplane mode because I wasn't even able to text you. I wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't getting texts. I wasn't anything. able like to get in contact completely. with her. And then her parents, their parents like got mad at me because they thought I was housing you or like keeping you a secret in my basement. I was like, no, I don't do that anymore. Like, I don't do that to people anymore, guys. Not anymore, that, that was in a past that, life. That was, that was middle school. It's fine. I'm a changed man, okay? Oh my but they thought that I had something to do with this and I was like, this is exactly what I didn't want to happen. And it, it, and yeah, it they, they were worried that like you would start lying to them and say but like, oh no, she's not here when she's actually there. And so they got mad about that. At the library. So yeah. as a little bit of a rundown, all right, Gabrielle sells some things online, goes to package them up, doesn't find them. Turns out mom gave them to her cousin. She freaks out, happens to be on her period, loses her brains, packs everything into her car as her family watches, dips to a library, dips to my house, <laughs> gets yelled at by me, kicked out of my house, back to a library, turns off, signal. Here's the thing, in between like going from his house to the library, I stopped at the Dollar Tree to get some snacks. <laughs> Because I didn't know how long I'd be gone for cold. Gabriel's like, this is going to be a really long winter. <laughs> <sighs> so, you know, like, the orange uh, crackers with the yellow, like, fake cheese? I got a bunch of those, and I got some peanuts and a gator. And I was like, this will survive me the night. This will last you the night. <laughs> Sur this will survive me the night. I'm at last. <laughs> Guys, matter of fact, she also ditched school too. I'm, I'm still at school too. Oh my god. <laughs> so anyways, once their their parents, I guess, decided finally that it, I had nothing to do with it, Mr. Moses just starts driving around. And then, I guess, Because while, no one will think about the library. He doesn't find you guys, but then you turn back on your phone, because then you start texting me again. Mrs. Moses goes and what happened got like met up with you at the library yes. because you wouldn't come home Because I was literally in my car in the parking lot of the library <laughs> And my mom's like come on come home I'm like no leave me alone like I'm independent I'm running away my I'm independent like, but I'm using your really? debit card so I can buy my <laughs> snacks at the Dollar Tree No I actually used my own money and I only had a five so that's why I went to the Dollar Tree to get my snacks but yeah, my mom came, tried to convince me to come home, and she's like, I'll cook your favorite meal <laughs> <laughs> to make up for it. She's like, whatever you want, I'm honey. like, I'm sorry, I can ask your cousin for the clothes back. And then at that point, I was like, no, mom, like, I'm so done with it. <laughs> I'm still so mad. I'm like, you already did your what damage. What happened after this? Like, what was, like, was it awkward, or were you just like... No, they laughed about it to my face. <laughs> 
<laughs> I remember that night at dinner, we just made fun of you the whole time. Yeah. Sorry, I took the last piece of broccoli. Go run away again. Can you yeah. imagine you Pretty literally like run away, but you're back in time for dinner? <laughs> Shut up. Um, Gabrielle, I think you got something wrong there. Something didn't work out. It's like, next time you're gonna be like, Hey, Gabrielle, you running away? Yeah, I hate all of you. Okay, just make sure you're, in, you're back in time for supper. <laughs> Okay. Anyways, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this story time. If yeah. you're interested, this merch is linked down below and is only available for a limited amount of time. You can check that out down below. It's hyperlinked and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Gabrielle looking good. Make sure you follow Cassie on Instagram. Workout routine and diet guides are either out or coming very, very soon by the time you're seeing this video. Yes. If you guys are interested in winning an iPhone or merch, turn on video notifications, follow us all on Instagram, mm -hmm. and that's all you gotta do. Let us know that you did. Because what we're doing is we give it away on Instagram, so that's how we know if you followed, because it's mm -hmm. there. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.